Yeah, believe it or not, all four of them are in Washington, D.C. right now. And I talked to spokespeople for each of the candidates today. They say they'll be at new member orientation tomorrow, along with their opponents, to make sure they're prepared should they win. A lot of uncertainty still remains in these two races on a day where it was picture day for new members of Congress posing on Capitol Hill. With members of the Republican Party already deciding on party leadership in the House, voting for Central California's Kevin McCarthy. I asked campaign managers for each of these candidates for interviews today, but each declined. California election offices, unlike some other states, taking the long weekend off, further complicating the final tally. They're probably trying to be you know, very as careful and as transparent as possible in this process, and that does slow down things a little bit. The tighter of the two races currently shows Adam Gray leading John Duarte by just hundreds of votes, but that could change fast. That is going to probably continue to be a nail biter, and it could seesaw back and forth. That's probably going to come down really to the wire. Take a look at a breakdown for how each county is reporting as of now. In District 22, Tulare County reporting about 69%, in Kern about 55%, in Fresno nearly 67%, the vote in Kings County all but complete. In District 13, Merced is almost done at over 98% reporting, Madera at about 68%, Again, Fresno at nearly 67%. Then further north, Santa's Law is reporting over 66%, and San Joaquin County sits at roughly 48%. And those numbers are likely to change as votes continue to come in, and officials have until December 9th to certify the election. Reporting live, Ben Morris, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.